all the money, 200 people have your back, that's power. But each power has its own kryptonite. And the kryptonite for this power is leverage. And in dirty terms, I would say it's blackmail. But let's call it leverage, because that's what it is. So I'm going to give you an example of leverage, which I never experienced, thankfully, but a lot of people do. So I'm going to give you that example, and I'm going to show you how to prevent it and how to treat it. So here we go. You have a best friend, and that best friend is like a brother to you. You would do anything for him, and if he's not your friend anymore, you don't have any friends left. That's how important that guy is to you, right? He's, he's, he's a cool dude. He's your best friend. He's your buddy. And he has a hot wife. Oh man, you got a wife too. And then that wife, you fuck her, right? You sexed her, right? Nowadays, all the evidence on the, is on the phone. So then later, you and her have a fight, you and his wife. And then you're sitting there wondering, is she gonna show him the screenshots? Is she gonna tell him? If she does, you don't have a wife anymore. You don't have a friend anymore. You are going to die inside. Basically, she's holding your life. That's called leverage. Leverage. That's a lot of leverage right there. So if you get yourself in that situation, let me tell you this. There's a few ways out. There's one way where in the movies, you know what happens to those types of people, right? But that's a terrible way because then you're going to be locked up. You don't do that. So what other way can there be? Well, you got to extract information from her and delete the evidence. You know, back in the 80s, it was easy, right? You, all you had to do is just make a few phone calls, do a few things, and then everything is word-based. There's no evidence of anything unless you see it or take a picture. But that shit's impossible. But nowadays... Okay, I'll be honest with you. You're screwed, okay? If you get yourself in that situation, you're an idiot. Okay, you get screwed. Completely. She owns your ass forever. The, the only thing you can possibly do is follow her needs and demands, okay? And then eventually, maybe she'll forget about it because she doesn't want to lose your friends or whatever. She doesn't want to lose him as a husband. Then she's going to just keep it a secret. But it's always going to be at the back of your head. You'll be like, holy shit, she can easily expose me anytime she wishes to. That's leverage. That is leverage, my friend. Now, so yeah, my solution is don't kill her. Just follow the demands. That's the only thing you can do in this leverage situation. And now here's how you can prevent this from happening. Don't fucking do it, okay? Don't, don't try to take something from your friend or acquaintance or whatever the hell you do don't do it because that's gonna give leverage so every time before you do something think about it does this incriminate me are they gonna have a certain kind of power or leverage over me because I did this or for example you go do a drug deal and that I wouldn't do I don't advise you to do it but you do a drug deal and you do it through snapchat right you type it in and then you found, find out that the police has found that drug dealer and that they're being investigated. You're going to shit yourself because you'll be like, oh my god, they got my text messages. Oh shit, they can track me. And that's it. There's uh, there's leverage that's unleashed against you. So the best way, the best thing to do when there's leverage against you is to run away as far as you can. But the best way you can commit a sin and do something really bad with leverage is if you go caveman style, right? You don't use devices. Or you go to like a different ass country. Or on the other side of the country. Just get the fuck out of there. With nothing. No devices. No notes. Nothing. Everything is just blah blah verbal. So if you wanna, I don't know. Go. Go fuck ten bitches. You just go fuck ten bitches. Don't speak about it. Ever again. Unless you speak it in person. Even then they can still incriminate you because they can record your voice. Dames is evil. Dames is bad. Or go do your drug deal. But you gotta go be like, hey man. I'll see you in person by this graffiti wall at 4 o'clock. 
you still don't trust that shit because that might be a sting. Yeah, it might be a sting. You see, leverage is power. That's what leverage is. It's just power. Damn. I'm serious. In this forest, the leaves really get me paranoid when they fall. By the way, the best way, this, this is going to be a summary, okay? Best way to prevent any leverage against you is to think ahead. Think, what evidence does the person have against me? Or for example, I'll give you one more, one more example, and you'll definitely know. For example, you, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You make a lie, right? You make a lie up. And then you tell that lie to a professor. Be like, hey, professor, I can play the drums like Ringo. And then, and then there, you know that there's going to be a drum set in the next room, next to the professor's room. So the professor, you're going to know that he has leverage over you now because he told him that. Because now, what he can do is he can be like, hey man, if he gets too friendly with you, or maybe just professional level, he could say, I want to see your skills, let's go. You just set yourself up for failure with that lie. So pretty much lies, deceiving, all these things. If, you, if you're not truthful, right? If, if there's no truth, right? There's no truth to you, that means you're going to be on the risk, on the verge of having leverage against you rarely if you're truthful with yourself and everyone else rarely there's going to be leverage against you but ultimately ultimately now i just thought of it i didn't plan this for the video but now i thought of it the best way to stop leverage against you is by truth you can stop leverage by truth but truth in this world doesn't work that well. You gotta, you gotta lie. You gotta deceive, fake your resumes. You gotta satisfy people in ways where you lie. But when you do that, it's inevitable there is going to be leverage against you eventually. Every rich businessman, every rich scumbag has leverage on them. Remember that. And if they, uh, the best way to get rid of it is by paying money, but they're still there's still no peace of mind to that leverage because that person can still release that leverage or blackmail as we call it so uh, leverage leverage it's a really really bad thing okay a leverage comes with a web of lies and deception so leverage is not something you want to be a part of but Maybe you might want to put leverage on other people. I don't recommend that, but... And holy shit, I got such bad sleep. Gotta cover up my eye bags. There we go. I look better. Yeah, so... The truth is how you escape all leverage. But also, the truth can put you into risk of leverage. Because if you give the truth to someone, say... Let's say, for example... Uh... For example, you won $5,000. They say, how much did you win in the lottery? Your friend says to you, you know, and you tell your friend the truth. You say, I got 5K and then they'll stop being your friend because you're not, you're not blowing half of it on the friend because some friends could be selfish. So saying that truth to the friends can, can have, uh, the friend have leverage on you and call you a selfish motherfucker. So sometimes you got to. You gotta twist the truth. You gotta distort it. You gotta lie. You gotta say, I won $500. Let's go get pizza.